what's going on y'all welcome to the sins of the father the book of redemption episode 10 of black lightning man dame diddy ambitious ace lala is one crazy mofo man yo i love how he's having fun with this character man yo just the fact like that first dude he ripped off his ear like yo yo that was unexpected i was not expecting that i mean i thought he was gonna rough him up or something but damn rip off his ear though this is why I knew I like Lala, man. And so, then, and I saw J- you see Jared from uh, Walking Dead. That's who that was. Yeah. I was like sitting there, like, who is this? I know this actor. Yeah. But yeah, um, I thought when he said, "Yo, man, you really gave him up your mom's address." I thought he was gonna be like, "Nah, that's Tobias' mom." <laughs> <laughs> but nah, that was like he's yo, he's on some old other shit right now. So man. remember back a couple episodes where I was like, "Yo, what if it's the people he killed?" Well, now I guess it is. But is it like a delay? Cause it's I don't like, know. Maybe maybe it's just whoever is like he's feeling at that at moment. that moment. Yeah, because that's what I was thinking. At the hotel, that's where he killed homegirl yeah, at. So that yeah. may have been. But she followed him home, so that doesn't make any. And sense. maybe since he was dealing with you know his, his his boys, maybe he was thinking about his cousin that he killed. Uh, yeah, could be. But it's just hilarious when they show him and he looks like he's talking to himself. Yeah. And people just be looking at him like, yo, man, what the heck? But is he wrong does with it so dude? casually, though. He just be like, nah. Yeah. And like, I, I just love that subtleness. Like, for real. It's just I cool. mean, I don't think anything's going to top him telling him how you, about killing, talking to somebody in the backseat about killing the driver in the car while the driver's there. Right, right. But you, he was just on some old dope gangster shit this episode, man. But I feel like it's kind of crazy how he's not questioning this. Like, he's just kind of riding with it. Yeah. You know, he's not questioning why he's seeing these dead people, but he's just kind of like, you know, I got the body. Death is no- nothing to me kind of vibe. What did you think about the whole gun thing? Did you think he just guessed that or he Man, had something funny, to do with it? It's funny because I was just about to, inf- I was just about to ask you that. I don't know if he influenced it or not. I know homeboy in the comments told us what his power was, but uh, I kind of forget. Yeah, I, I did read too. it and then I forget. Right. So I'm feeling like he might have influenced that. Right. But. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe he has, like, some crazy probability, like Domino or something like that. Right, right, But right. it was really interesting. Well, how did you take that? It was good. I don't know. I just thought maybe he had some kind of effect of it. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to just leave the interpretation and just wait, to, wait, wait it out. How was – did you feel like your boy Gamby, he, did he redeem himself to you? <sighs> I mean, it's the Book of Redemption, so the Gamby re- – did he redeem himself? Some, some. Because I guess sense of his father would be the fact that he raised him like he was his own son. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could say that. That makes perfect sense because you know he really did take the beating for him and everything like that. Is did he redeem himself? He he's getting there. I mean, I get why you can't be so critical of him, but I still don't like his character. But the fact that he did take a beating for him like that was pretty admirable of him. But I, it's not all the way there for me yet. I don't know. We'll see. So, do you think that the ASA guy is a hundred percent sure that that uh, Cress is Black Lightning right uh, now, I or do you think he's just he he just has a f- a good feeling that Jefferson? He, he got a point. You know, he's saying how does the place go black when he show up? And well, at least we had a, a bad guy with some at least decent logic, right? Yeah. So I and that's why I was like, okay, maybe so. And they were right to go. Um, move and go stay at his his dad's house, I guess it was, which was a funny scene, by the way. She was like, so, uh, this is where your dad got married? Yep. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I was just like, oh, okay. But yeah, um, I, I think, you know, the whole reveal of the assistant principal, it wasn't, I didn't like- Miss Foggy? Yeah. Foggy? It, it wasn't that I- Foggy. Ge- it wasn't that I guessed it. It was just like, oh, okay, it makes sense, kind of in a way, because she was just always in the background. It's like, what is this character for? But you can still see she likes him, though. Oh, yeah, because she kind of stuttered. And he was like, are you going to be able to do your job? She was just like, I don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, oh, you still got a thing for him. He don't want you anyway, but I'm just saying. Yeah, he, he he's going to have to turn her, man. Yeah. How did you feel about <laughs> Jefferson and Anissa this episode, man? The chemistry is on point, especially during that fight scene. Um, that fight scene was, like, really crazy. Well, you know what? I have one gripe about What's that up? fight scene. Did you see, like, when Crest was fighting and then, like, Anissa he looked like she just, just ran she over? Just, and yeah, just, yeah. I, I was just like, it just looked like you just kind of, it, it was really lazy. Yeah, it was. Yeah, but I, I still s- love her, but that, that part, I was just like, 
not. That was cheesy. Are you getting annoyed with her breathing? No. I, I enjoy it. I, the response that I've seen based on comments was just like, oh, I'm getting tired of the... <gasps> and I'm like, that's the whole main draw of her character. I really like how it shows when she's going into control of her powers. Well, it's not like she did it 20 times this episode. Yeah. I think she did it like two or three times yeah, the whole episode. I, I guess a lot of people just don't favor her, but I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, because, like, yeah, uh, Nefessa and Cress's chemistry on this show is ridiculous. Like, yeah. I don't even know if Jefferson and Lynn even have that type of chemistry when they're on screen because like you pointed out earlier, it's more like distance. Yeah. They did have a dope scene at the laboratory when yeah, they were talking about. Yeah, pretty funny. Yeah. How did you feel about uh, Jennifer this episode? I feel like she's slowly accepting her powers, but I think she's getting terrified of them at the same time. I mean, I would too if I lit up like a damn bulb, <laughs> but that was a pretty cool effect though, by the way, too. But um, I think that, you know, she's going to start asking more questions. And I think the show's doing right by having her kind of skeptical about the idea of her as, you know, a, a superhero or anything like that. Because I get she don't want it. She didn't need it. But I thought it was kind of crazy that her sister kind of, like, shut her down when she was just like, you know, I forgot what she was talking about. But she mentioned Khalil. Uh -huh. She kind of shut her down. It was kind of true. But at the same time, it was just like, damn, that's kind of a low blow. But, yeah, I feel like, you know, I, I like the way we're going with her because it's kind of giving her time to build as a character, and we're not trying to see her in the outfit really anytime soon. But I, I think they should wait till next season. Yeah, but I feel like they're giving off an important thing about her. They're saying that she generates electricity herself instead of conducting it like Black Lightning does. So, so I'm assuming that's why Black Lightning's suit lights up. So I he think probably so. converts his suit's power, which into got to energy. me respecting the suit a little bit more now, because that makes sense. Yeah, because I was because at first when he's like, I don't do low profile. I was like, you damn right, man. You look <laughs> like a Christmas tree walking yeah. around. You know what I'm saying? And I like you know, Anissa's suit is way more, you know, calm down because I think the only light she has is on her belt. Yeah. So, you know, how did you feel about Lynn? Do you feel like she 100% accurate about what's going on with Jennifer and her powers? Um, Yeah. I, I feel like I, I like how she's kind of warmed up to the idea of her family now. She's not trying to backtrack away from it no more because I thought she was going to stay in that lane, especially at the beginning of the season. But now that she's kind of becoming more accustomed to everything that's going on, I hope she stayed this way. Hopefully we don't get into the 180 where she's like, oh, I don't want all this to happen or nothing like that. So I like where she is right now. It's way better than our thoughts about her during the first couple of episodes, episodes of the season. How did you feel when they threw the uh, the damn microwave out the <laughs> window? I was, I was cracking up. She was like, sorry, but you got a nice price on your head. That whole scene was just really, it was it was just right. The whole comical and just with him and everything. With, yeah, two bit. Yeah, it was crazy. I liked it a lot. Yeah, when she threw the second one, I was I was <laughs> like, yo, really? He was And he was like, what's your name, Rent? electricity or something she said i was just like yo <laughs> so you said you missed the bias man yeah man i mean i'm not saying that's a bad thing but i, I do miss his presence but lala is filling in them shoes with his just wittiness attitude and everything but yeah i i miss tobias a lot man hopefully he comes in next episode i just want him to come back when we don't because what do you suspect to happen when tobias and lala meet that's what I'm waiting for. Because I, I wanted to be a surprise. Because I kind of feel up. like they're challenging him that on that idea. It's like you don't even run things around here no more. So I think Lala is like expecting that challenge to come. Oh, uh, what did you think about Black Lightning and his um, interaction with the kid? I thought that was cool, man. He picked somebody that he wanted to mentor. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, I, I like how they fit that in there because you know even though it was talking about green light and everything like that, it's a real world subject. And once again, I like how Black then Black Lightning find time to find how to tackle these issues like that. And I, I really liked that a lot. I thought that was cool. Yeah, man, definitely, man. What what did you grade this episode? I give it a B plus. Thought it was fire. Yeah, I liked this episode a lot too as well. You know, it was very entertaining. 
uh, aside from the little part with Nefessa, I still feel like, like, you know, when she looked like she just walked over and yeah. kind of lazily protecting him. It's yeah. just like, you got to be a little bit more action packed. <laughs> Come on, man. You're, you're a better actress than Laurel Lance. <laughs> oh, yes. You know? Way so, better. <laughs> yeah, because Nefessa is killing this show. Like, she's probably like my favorite character on the show. Yeah. Beca- it, her interactions with her sister, her interactions with Jefferson, yeah. her interactions with her mom, like, even her interactions with Gambit. Yeah. It yeah. seems like she's like the most logically thinking person on the show. Right. And then uh, she just seems like the glue. I like how in the beginning of the episode, everybody. she stopped herself from from punching she's the pop. thinking she's thinking <laughs> she's thinking she's being real smart she's, yeah. she's processing all the information from everybody she's learning really quick yeah. you know Harriet's killing it yeah she's killing it yeah man so what you give it you didn't give it great yeah you said a B plus oh okay I didn't hear you well if, y'all, if I didn't say it I didn't think you said I'd it i give it a B plus okay <laughs> I, I, I could have swore I said it <laughs> but yeah man check back with us next week man where we gonna do episode 11 obviously yeah great TV show if you ain't watching it Trip uh, go jump off a bridge. Like you said, go follow the page, go like it, share it, everything, man, for real. Yeah, dead serious. And if you ain't subscribed to this and watching Black Lightning, man, you, you kind of ass. Same wrong with you. Yeah. Keep it